Folks, it has come to my attention that two out of the three things I promised you last time are not exactly gonna be a thing this time. The whole acid rain nonsense, broken. The whole toad leaves thing, gone. But hey, at least Berger's still gonna be different. So yeah, apparently all that's been broken for like half a year. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Probably should have done some reading before I promise you some action. Oh, but no worries, folks. Something tells me we're still gonna be in the thick of it today. Because this leaves me with only one option. The caves and the ruins. And let me tell ya, um, both of those things are gonna come with their own difficulties. Oh, and welcome back to you two on Compromising Mode. I know I kind of missed last week, but this is how you repay me. The first night back, a night terror, and it has to be the hands one. Oh man, you're kidding me. <laughs> this is literally what I'm trying to do right now. Before we get to autumn, I was gonna make a much bigger hound wave thing. I was gonna get some more gold because I'm low on gold, but no, 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 no. Now you're just gonna throw hounds. Okay, well, at least I am going to the pit king. They can help me. Oh, what's that, everybody? <laughs> what is this? They're like, what is this magma hounds? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Magma hounds, everybody. This is new, this is new, this is new. Magma hounds, you say, huh? I can see that you are somewhat struggling with the cat coon, apparently. <laughs> Okay, what is, what's your deal? What's your deal? Do you only do that? Okay, it looks like you kind of old. Wow! You do shoot a lot of flames, I gotta say. How much health do you have? I didn't even notice. Oh, they actually create magma pools when they die. Oh, boy. That's kind of neat, everybody. But, oh, boy. These guys are definitely on the danger side. Definitely on the danger side. Okay, do you have a... Okay, you do actually do have a melee. Why am I not wearing armor? Beard, what are you doing? <laughs> I know you haven't played for a while. But get your freaking head in the game! Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I came all this way to trade a bunch of trinkets that I have to get easy gold. I put all the trinkets in Chester, and I didn't bring his eye bone. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Hello, Big King, and hello, easy free gold. Oh, you son of a gun game. You know, I did kind of forget about these stupid things among all the other chaos. Oh my goodness. Oh good, it's this night terror, everybody. My bloody goodness. Can summer just be done, please? <laughs> Can summer just be done? Yes, yes it can, everybody. Hello, autumn. Hello, day 71. All right, we got some things to do before I consider going down under. And it has to do with this guy, everyone, the moon tier. If I have it in my inventory, wetness rises fast. But if I leave it in Chester till we reach our ultimate destination, I'm pretty sure we can get ourselves a free iridescent gem. But how exactly are we going to do that, you ask? Well, I'm pretty sure that I can offer one of these to the Moonstone. Oh, it makes it wet and rainy. It gives another moon tier, apparently. Oh, no, it's just because that's a full moon. Oh, okay, this is not without its dangers. <laughs> not without its dangers at all. Ooh, this is so cool, though. Oh, my gosh. This is like its own Moonstone event. Oh, this is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. But there we go, folks. Yes, indeed, it's own Moon Callers event. Then you just get a free thing, but it does rain. Mm, okay. I now have three of these. I have three of these. There's one more in Chester that we got from our first full moon way back in the day. Do I really, really need three iridescent gems? But with that lovely surprise out of the way, I guess here comes another. But the main question is this. Do we now wait for Berger to show up, not knowing if the mod has changed the spawning mechanics, or do we go down in those deep, dark ruins that are now more dangerous than ever? I don't know, folks. And speaking of danger, this is one of those night terrors. What just happened? This is one of those night terrors that doesn't show itself right away, unless something just happened. Oh, was it the spider one and I just completely missed that it was the spider? 
Oh my gosh, it was the spider one because I think I just took damage. That was so nonchalant. Where did that even come from? Holy moly, everyone. I found spiders on the surface for Pete's sake. And you would not believe where they are. <laughs> Directly north of base. But all right, folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna give Berger maybe another day and a half to show his big fluffy butt in the world. And if he doesn't, we're going down under and we're gonna be more than ready, I think. I'll give myself plenty of food. I have healing because of them spiders. And now I have really, really good armor for all the new surprises waiting for us. My oh my, right on bloody cue, Berger. <laughs> Seriously, dude, the next flippin' morning. Okay, I was gonna go kill some beeflo, obviously, for foodies. Oh, okay, he's gonna do it for me. Never mind. Hello, Berger. Immediately got into a scruffle, everybody. Ooh, he's actually gonna get some uh, pretty decent damage knocked off of him from this, everyone. Especially because I don't think he necessarily... Oh, this is gonna be something new, I think. Yeah, he, uh, we probably couldn't see it. That's definitely new. He has this new ability, everybody, to, um, maybe throw some things at our face. We'll see it in a minute. The one problem with this now is that he can't- Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, he can throw boulders, everybody. He can throw boulders. The one oh, boy. So that's just his new smash. Okay. I thought it was going to be a one or the other sort of thing, but no. That is just straight up his new smash. Now he can throw boulders too, so he's going to do that. Oh my, that's pretty brutal actually. Mm, I got to be a little more steep on my dodge of that attack, I think, everyone. All right, so instead of doing the smash, now he does that. That's very difficult to dodge, by the way. That is very difficult to dodge. I wonder if it would be better to like go towards him to avoid that one so after a few hits yeah okay so his new thing can i go that's a terrible idea okay do not do what i just did that is an absolutely awful idea then again i was wearing the piggyback like an idiot so bearger let's try this again shall we oh my gosh i gotta remember that's just replaces that just replaces thing. Wait, does that mean he's gonna run now? Ow, freaking heck, Berger, come on! Yup, that's exactly what it was, folks. The piggyback. All right, now I think we're in a good position here. He's gonna do his little tossing boulder thing. Fine for fine. He's gonna do this, but I can run that way. There we go. See it in an action, everybody. The new Berger, he just wrecked. He just wrecked that baby beef, though, let me tell ya. Ooh, I think he can actually hit shadows now, too, by the way. Maybe not, though, maybe not, though, maybe not, though. Okay, run, 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 run. Careful of them boulders, though, everybody. They do have area of effect nonsense on them. Hmm, okay, so even though you're dodging them, you still gotta make up the distance. Otherwise, the splash damage is gonna get you for sure. Like that. But down he goes, folks. Oh, and there it is. Berger's Claw. One of the veteran items. And I agree. I am going to make a uh, whole separate video on all of these things. Probably sooner rather than later. Especially after today. A sloppy fight for sure. In fact, very sloppy. But I gotta be honest, I was just more intrigued by how all the new stuff works over actually trying to dodge the new stuff. But, good, I liked it. I actually kinda like the new Berger nonsense. But it's time, everybody, it's time. On day 77, no less, ruins time. And this might sound crazy, but I have elected not to bring down any of these, pretty much. Battle Helms, no. Miner's Hat, yes. Marble, yes. And why is that? Well, let's just say I'm kind of forced to do it because I also want to make sure that you guys can see all the new stuff that's going to be happening. And we got to make sure we get a good shot for the thumbnail, do we not? So yeah, I'm playing part photographer down here now. Besides, if I need more armor, I have all the stalagmites in the world for gold galore. Heck, I needed to use stalagmites right now, because you know what I forgot, everybody? A hammer. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna accomplish down here. I really, really don't. But hey, might as well have it just in case. 
Oh, and on the way, we find him, everybody. Okay, now this actually did get a little bit interesting. Now I have a lot more inventory to play with. Oh, and with the Sidus Blue Monkeys, everybody, now comes the potential to run into one of those new things. Pawns. Clockwork pawns. Unless, of course, I just find the ruin straight up without running into any pawns whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that works too. But uh, content is content, right? Yeah, I should probably find some pawns, especially when there's not a nightmare cycle going on right now. Oh, son of a gun, everyone. Yup, definitely found them <laughs> and found more than one at that. Okay, that's actually really cool, I gotta say. They have this little divining rod thing on top of them. You can hear them down here. You can see little flashes of light. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Oh, speaking of sounds though, I just heard that there might be a nightmare cycle coming. Took me a little longer to find these guys than I thought. While we wait, we can have our fun, of course. This is exactly what the marble armor is for. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What is this thing? What is this thing? <laughs> what the frick is this? A mechanical monstrosity. Oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. Um, 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 um. Okay, maybe I should have brought my... Oh, ow. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> no idea. Okay, maybe I should have still brought the lantern. What I think was happening was I was taking shock damage. So, yeah. Next time one of those things just shows up, I didn't even know where it came from. Put this on, drop this. Got it. Oh, you know what happened, folks? One of these probably became that. Oh, goodness. That's kind of terrifying to think about. What the frick? 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's something called the trepidation, everybody. There is something called the trepidation. It, 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 it's a big freaking nightmare spider thing walking on four legs. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tank it so you guys can maybe get a good look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down too, so I can get a shot for the thumbnail. This thing's terrifying. This thing's freaking terrifying. What is this? Oh, foul magic blocks blows. How about no? How about just freaking no? Trepidation's reach. Okay, okay, okay. This is like a nightmare freaking ruins boss thing. What is this? Okay, get rid of this. Thankfully, I brought this marble armor, by the way. <laughs> Thankfully, I brought this marble armor. What the hell is this thing? This thing has 3,000 health. This has got to be a boss, right? There's got to be some sort of boss thing. That's freaking terrifying, by the way. Nope, switch weapons, switch weapons, switch weapons. Okay, remember how I said I wanted to play a strong character? This is exactly why. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I wasn't and I didn't have marble armor right now? Ooh, okay. All right. I don't know what that thing was, but it literally scared the crap out of me. What the heck is this? Okay, okay, okay. I think this is definitely doing something electric, everybody. <laughs> Definitely doing something electric. This is a, uh, commingled? 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 Is that even a word? <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. This thing is definitely doing something electric. I'm gonna go ahead and just wear this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I said, the ruins, all full of new surprises. By the way, all that marble armor is kind of almost gone. By the way, let's hope there's only one of those trepidation things, because I really... Really did not want to face down another one. Oh, this is probably, yup, I was gonna say, this is probably the main uh, thing, Badoog. All right, let's finish this. Gotta say, really was expecting something different here, but nope, same as always, bishops and all that. Okay, what, ooh, this is different. Drops soul orbs when attack, which will replenish lost health when picked up. Whoa, interesting. Folks, I'm thinking a tactical retreat is gonna be in order soon enough. Not quite yet, I still wanna do some things for sure, like craft that new amulet to see what the pawns are doing. But with how I'm looking on the food front, armor front, yeah, I can't push my luck too much. It wasn't the only trepidation, it wasn't the only trepidation. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Do I even dare? Do I even dare do this right now? I mean, do I even dare do this right now? Is it even wise? Do I even have enough weapon to do this right now? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double armor. I'm gonna double armor. How much damage does this thing do? I think this is why I lost all my freaking armor. This thing. Okay, well, let's just say that's why all my armor was gone. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing deals a little more damage than I thought. I probably just didn't notice it last time because I was just too freaking scared. 
<sighs> do I roll back or do I not roll back? I rolled back indeed, everybody, because we need to see these pawns. This is the last thing I'm doing today, and then I am running out of the caves and rethinking my plan. <laughs> but I just noticed, too, they have map markers. That's kind of neat. All right, pawns, what do you got for me? So, if they get close enough to us, yeah, they have a little divining rod mechanic to them. And if, oh, and if we get close to them, they spawn a bunch of these things. Got it, got it, got it, okay, got it, got it, got it. I see, I see. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Really not good, by the way. <laughs> but yes, definitely a shocking thing, by the way. And now I have monkeys going through my inventory, and they can get through the ramparts when I can't get through the ramparts. Good. That's exactly what I wanted from this. So yeah, these pawns, everybody, these pawns create arenas of nightmare ramparts and then spawn those things because of course they do. And because I don't value my own life, apparently, here's a better look at it. This is a big old arena of nightmare ramparts that still do drain your sanity, by the way. They spawn two of these new clockworks. Doesn't last long, so you can run away, it seems like. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, folks. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm running, I'm running. Tactical retreat time, tactical retreat. But folks, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm going the wrong way too. Great.